got the touch. This is Stan Bush, and this epic video from Optibotamus truly has the touch. What's up, you beautiful collectors and action figure fans? It's the one and only Optibotamus coming to with another video review. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Earthrise Commander Class Skylinks. The latest in the Commander Class series, Commander Modesty himself gets the privilege of being the newest in the Commander Class. For the pack, it's absolutely gorgeous. You see Skylinks right there in the front split up into both of his two halves. Both of them absolutely looking incredible. The other thing that's really interesting to note is that he's battling all of the different cone heads. You can see Dirge, Ramjet come around to the side, and here you have Thrust. Now, we've recently seen pictures, and if you follow me on Instagram, I posted in-hand images of Thrust. So it's cool to see that we are going to be getting those cone heads. That is outstanding. I just love that art in general. Uh, Come around to the top, you see uh, Transformers War for Cybertron right there. Uh, the other side here has that image of the Ark crashing down to Earth. Got all the other characters there in the back, including uh, Unicron hiding out there. Come around to the back of the package. You can see that he transforms in a couple different things. Obviously, he has his more classic looking combined forms, which is that space shuttle with the mobile transport. And then the image that we're used to seeing him where the Lynx part of him makes up the lower half of Sky Lynx. And then you can see that he also splits up into his bird form and then the separate Lynx. But in addition to that, he also can become a base, which is really cool looking. It's not something that he did at any point in time, but I like the fact that they included something like that amongst all the other modes that we're more used to as a way to incorporate him with some of those other large city base modes that we've gotten with other Transformer figures. But for the packaging, that's about it. Uh, there's no way to really see the figure. You gotta open him up to do that, so let's not waste any time. Let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have the new Commander Class Skylinks opened up and out of his packaging. And starting off first, uh, you do get this inside the box. Uh, I think somebody has talked about how, like, when you connect these, it kind of creates a map of sorts. And then you get this little decoder that when you put it over there, uh, you're probably not going to be able to read it. But it says the dead universe. Um, and then over here is the planet of char there's no other uh bits that i can see anywhere but you just kind of move it around and oh look the dead universe who knows what's there now starting off first with his accessories uh, he does come with uh blast effects he comes with a, a bunch of them a lot of these can be used in any configuration that you really want you have one big giant one uh they all break up you've got a, a fatter base section here a little bit smaller of a base section a little bit even smaller a little bit even smaller and then you get three of these little ones at first i thought that these were the same as some of the other ones like the ones that we got with Omega Supreme or Jetfire, but they're not. They're different, which is really nice. You can see that there's a little bit of a bubble effect around the edge, which I do like, especially with this guy. I, I don't know why. But, for example, we can take the uh, Space Shuttle section, and then you can come around here, take these little smaller ones, and plug those in there to give a uh, blast off sort of look which is absolutely fantastic uh, some of these other ones i'm trying to see oh these actually will fit in here as well because there's a little post in there so you could put that inside there um it gets a little bit weird because you don't have any that are really the right same size maybe you can use these these are about no, that's going to be a little bit too big I would imagine but uh, because there's holes in there you can also port it right into the post right there so you can do that uh, if you really wanted to you get all the little thrusters kind of looking like they're blasting off the middle ones don't actually have those little holes so that's nice maybe you can put the little whole one up there I guess it stays in there pretty decently actually too uh, so we'll, we'll take a look at that here in a bit but you do get all of these little bigger pieces and then you do get these sections here which i have attached to links uh, you know what as big of a uh, transformer fan as i am i don't remember if they ever had individual names they had individual consciousnesses and then when they combined they had another one 
but I don't think they had individual names. I don't remember. Um, you do have these little bits right here that just uh, look like blasters or something like that. Uh, you can put different things on there. I don't know really why you would want to. Uh, and then I guess there's little holes right here that, again, are little posts that, again, that if you wanted to, you can kind of plug those in if you wanted to do something along those lines. Um, no, nothing really going with these. Uh, you can plug these into a couple different places. You can put it here at the back, put it here in the front. Linksy here, I'm going to call him Linksy, has these holes on what are going to become his thighs that you can put that in there. You can rub around that way if you really wanted to. I mean, whatever you want. Uh, personal preference, you can do anything you're so inclined to do. Let me see on Sky. I, I don't know, <laughs> Birdbot. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't really see any holes here. Where you can put, I don't know, but like you can put like a little thing right there, and oh, he got shot by somebody. That'll be fun. You got a bunch of those little bits right there, and and they're asymmetrical. So it's like that you have one right here, and then you have another one a little bit further back on the wing. So all these different uh, blast effects can be used in all the different areas. But that looks weird to me. I mean, unless he's getting shot from above or or whatever. Same thing here. Like you got a little port right there. You got a little port. Right there, I kind of decided to go back and talk more about accessories. <laughs> you could do that there. You can have a big giant one right there. I mean, it, it, it just looks strange coming out like that because, I don't know. Do whatever you want with your toys. Uh, so accessory-wise, that's what you get. Now, like I said, uh, in the original cartoon, he split into two sections. Most of the time we saw him attached like this, but he did split up a couple times. You can probably count it on one hand how many times he did it. But this was the main cargo section. This was used when he wanted to uh, transport a whole bunch of Autobots all over the place. Um, it is what it is. It's just a giant cargo bit right here. If you wanted to, you can come around here to the back section. You can actually open this. That's if I get my finger. I mean, if you wanted to do that, you could do something. And you could take one of these little car guys and put them in there. If you wanted to. Let me tuck that back up. Uh, the majority of the time, I think they've loaded from the top or front section here, so at least you can do something like that. You can't really do that. I guess you could kind of open that, but that's really all it is. Uh, now, he does have these tank treads here, but they're not functional. The wheels are actually here and here. So he does roll. Um, one thing that really surprised me was the weight in size of this guy yeah yeah he's a commander class figure and i'm going to bring in other figures for comparison everything here in a bit but um just the overall weight really did surprise me when i first got this out that was really quite surprising to see uh now for birdbot uh this i absolutely love if you know me uh, you know how much i love space exploration the shuttle program all that stuff and this is a gorgeous gorgeous figure one thing that really did strike me was the use of the official nasa logo now in terms of reading it said that they partnered with nasa to be able to actually use that logo but usually when they do that they put that kind of branding on the back of the package and that's not there so i don't know but one thing that is great is they do have that as well as the name magnificence that is a great great touch the molded detail uh, throughout both of these pieces is really exemplary. You can see a really nice level of detail throughout the entire thing. You got the Autobot logo there. I love how it has that gold background, which is very much like the original G1 toy. That's fantastic. You got those gold trim pieces along the side, of course, on the little fin right here. But other slight paint variations as well, like on the tips of the wings, you can see that it's gray. Hopefully that's coming across well. Uh, you can see that as well through the bottom. And then, of course, coming up here into the, the hatch, basically. That's where they would get out. Uh, gold for the windows. Gorgeous additional paint detail here in the front. You can see a little bit of gray. Again, hopefully that comes across. And then the nose has a little bit of gray around it as well. Come around to the back. You can see that the thrusters have this really nice dark gunmetal gray. Got some extra robot bits kind of hanging out there. That doesn't bug me too much, though, because the rest of it blends in very nicely. Come around to the bottom. Again, really not that bad. Uh, you do have some gray. The only way that they could have made that better would have been if it was all black underneath there, which would have been a little bit more... Oh, I don't have that pushed all the way in. Uh, that would have made it a little bit more accurate 
to a space shuttle but I love how on the bottom side here you can see the tiles like a space shuttle would have you can't do that throughout the rest of it but on this empty section right here that is nice to see you can see he's got uh, retractable landing gear uh, you have wheels on both of them you can tuck that up on both sides oh that was already tucked up so you can have that flying element also it'll come in handy when you want to attach them and then one part that's really very nice a nice again throwback to the original g1 toy is you can open this up just like so you can't put anything in it which again you couldn't do that on the original G1 toy, but I love the fact that you can open up the, the bay doors here and then you have some extra painted detail on the inside with the gold and then the little bits around here are done up as gray as well. Absolutely fantastic how they incorporated just about everything that I would want in a space shuttle. Now, uh, for the comparison, uh, because we got a Skylinks not that long ago, this is the Skylinks that we got in the Combiner Wars line. This was all just one piece. He did not separate into the two separate halves. So you didn't have the whole Sky and Lynx incorporated. Uh, he could transform into Sky Rain, which was his combiner name. And that's where like the head that this guy has comes into play. And you can kind of well, get that out of the way. You can, you can kind of see it right inside there. So uh, like I was saying, big size difference here. You can totally see. I mean, and this is Voyager, this is a commander. So obviously the commander class figure is gonna be a lot bigger, but I, I just really think that uh, the overall presentation of this one in terms of a space shuttle is immensely better. And like I said, size-wise, there's a big difference here. Let me, am I all the way? Oh yeah, there we go. Let me come back a little bit. You can see huge difference with the size of the shuttles. Again, I'll bring in some other figures later on, but setting him off to the side because now we're going to attach him. What you want to do, and this is a little bit tricky to do, uh, on the underside here, there's a little gap that has a little tab that kind of sticks out that way. You can kind of see it right there. You have to hook that in to the back section of this piece. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. You got to put it in there and then really push to get it locked up in there and then you want to push this little tab down which will then release oh well it'll bring this down and lock that into place if you don't push this in there this will lock in and then the back section won't but otherwise that is a very secure locking mechanism which works beautifully but again if you don't have that put in there you're basically just going to kind of set it if you just set it there and don't slide it forward uh, let's get that in there that's what's going to happen so you really need to make sure that you push this in like i said give that a good solid push and then lock that that locks that very securely and this is the more completed look in what we normally got in terms of the appearance of skylinks uh, but again huge size difference between these I, I wish i had my g1 skylinks it's in storage unfortunately right now to bring it out because he's very similar in terms of that size and again this is a voyager so it's really not that fair of a comparison and then complaining about the fact that this doesn't transform into the separate links is not a valid one in my opinion because could they have done it without engineering the the combiner gimmick yeah probably but that was the line so it it, it worked and this obviously has a little bit more of a futuristic spaceship kind of look of sorts. So this was never a bad figure by any stretch. It's just this is what I want. And everything else is basically the same. Uh, I mean, the only thing that you have is the two of them connected. Uh, again, if you really wanted to, you can add these bits uh, onto them to give kind of a little weapon sort of look. I, I, I kind of think that the... Putting them here in the back looks a little bit better. Uh, just kind of, it doesn't stick out nearly as much. I guess you could rotate that around and put that there if you are so inclined. Uh, it's all personal preference, really. Uh, you kind of use these as well for the uh, base mode, which for that, what you want to do, separate this. I like that, that comes apart. And then we're going to put him off to the back. We're not going to use him right now. Then you want to detach these, rotate these, all the way around i'm going to spin this around oh yeah it's going to go like this this piece here is going to separate and then you rotate this or pull this away from the body and then rotate this around lift this up and then you rotate this all the way around like so do that on this side as well just like that make sure you lift this 
away from the tab section right here by my thumb. Rotate that up, that, rotate that, just like so. Kind of try and keep that all straight. This, you, you can do whatever you really want with these back sections. The instructions kind of make it look like you just kind of leave it like that. Then take this, pull this piece out, extend that. Again, if you wanted to, you can have something like that go on. And then this piece here comes up and then this will slide up. You also have these little bits right here. You can rotate these down as well. And then this part, uh, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, to be totally honest. you got these little hole sections on the back of his thrusters that will lock into these, although it doesn't really lock in very well. Uh, you kind of get it in and it kind of sort of sits there, but it's not a very strong thing. I mean, it literally, it just sits there. Um, it doesn't really feel like it locks in. I mean, it, it, it's just there. Uh, definitely not a big fan of that um and then you, you take this you'll open this oh, i detached his wing let's put that back in there you can open this like so and again yeah i, I mean I, I it just the instructions literally just say to just push it in here but it doesn't seem like it locks in so that's really unfortunate unless let's see yeah, there's no real, I mean, I was gonna look at these pieces, but that doesn't really do much of anything. So literally you're just sitting there, um, unless that, there's a little tab, I don't, this little tab piece here on the back slots in right there, but it doesn't feel like it locks in or anything. So I, I, I don't like that. Uh, it, it just feels like it rests there and, that makes me nervous, honestly. Uh, you can extend this, and then you kind of put this right here. Uh, and that kind of helps stabilize it, but that's his little, um, uh, yeah, see? I, and now I'm just pulling pieces apart. That's fine, that just tabs on there. There we go. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of that. Um, bit unless i'm completely doing something wrong which is possible but like i said i'm looking at the instructions and doesn't really show much so there's there's that i don't i literally don't see any other way to to do it so there's that um I'll just leave it like that. That's the best. That's, that's the best look that you're gonna get at it. Uh, these go down. Oh, then you can take these. Sorry, those can extend out on the side. God, dude. And then these bits right here. We're just gonna set that down. I, I don't know why it doesn't. I, I'm I'm really sorry. You can plug these in here on the sides like so and then again so here's this base uh i mean you can put this like this or you can put it like that um again personal preference and then uh for example here is ironworks i like how you have these little bits here you can now connect different things with that uh you can have a piece right there i mean you can put this kind of in anywhere in any way that you really want uh, attaching the different uh, points to this so that's fun that you can incorporate that that's one of the things that i really liked about this you can expand the playability of, of everything so uh base wise i mean he's cool um it's just like i said uh, I, I don't really get why that's not locking in um unless i'm literally not pushing down as hard as i need to but uh, it just it just doesn't seem to work so kind of sucks to be totally honest but i'm not going to be using this guy as a base too much so we're going to sit this back up we're going to go to their individual bot mode so let's take him all the way back to the way he was and a lot of it is going to be kind of already what you're doing so you have these bits you're going to rotate these back 
kind of angle these legs some give them some dynamic flare i guess bring these down stretch that down transformation is very simple on uh, both of these guys uh, but not bad uh, by any stretch of the imagination so you just kind of play with that a little bit take this fold this piece down and then you rotate his head out tuck that there and there you have linksy all done up in his linksy kind of mode there he is being the lynx just like that now for birdbot we're going to detach these just kind of angle those do whatever you really want with them come around here to the back take this this is going to shift up away from the main body and then hinge out like that and then get that out of the way and then you just take that and that all accordions inside there then you can take this put that back there and that's going to just sit like so come down here to the underside Again, let's get these little wings out of the way these little bird legs tuck up i love how the feet actually tuck up underneath there that's great fold that fold that heavy duty ratchet joints on here too that's one thing i love i love me some ratchet joints that really give a solid feel to this uh, because he's got bird legs yeah i know right a bird having bird legs oh, what are you talking about off the bottom is just like that try to keep these balanced in terms of their positioning just like so and then you go that and you can do these however you want you can fold these out you got a couple different looks for the wings um, you got the extended ones I kind of like just leaving that like so but you can do whatever you want with it so there's that there's that uh, it is a little bit loose here that's a little unfortunate but honestly I'll probably just leave it now that kind of really droops so I'm gonna have to figure out how to tighten that for stability lift this kind of away from the body so kind of grab the section here and then just pull that all the way out lift that up open his mouth and now there you have birdbot so yeah kind of balance that guy uh there you have the individual modes for the two of them and again huge and absolutely gorgeous comparison wise uh here's a little baby car let's just bring in some earthrise figures here we have cliff jumper here we have wheeljack obviously two deluxes um although he's a fairly small deluxe and then just for the hell of it here is a Voyager class. Here is Optimus Prime. So you can see really uh, very big. And since you know that this is basically the lower section of Skylinks, you can see just how big he's going to be when we combine them. <laughs> Now, in the individual modes, uh, well, even both combined and individual, they have a tremendous amount of articulation. The legs, obviously, here have heavy-duty ratchets, forward and back, in and out. They rotate up here at the upper part of the bicep or whatever. Uh, does he have two joints here? Or is that just one? Oh, yeah, there's another joint. Ow! Don't do that. Um, that looks great with some extra detail. So you got double joints here for the legs. Uh, you come down to the ankles. They... You hold that there they do they oh yeah go in and out forward and back just like so again really nice ratchet joints the head here does get a little bit limited but they actually did or engineer in some swivel which is nice you can see a little extra gap on the side here so that you can kind of get it looking left and right and then the main head obviously can also look a little bit left and right so you get some articulation what's that and then just an empty spot you can also look up and down you can kind of rotate his mouth can open on the inside he does have a little cannon right there so you can get that wide open of course with that like that you can take one of those plug it in there and he's a fire breathing lynx so you do have that gorgeous detail on there i love that head sculpt uh, the back legs do the exact same thing now he also does have this joint um that flares out they don't really show that uh for being his part of articulation they show it as being part of sky Link's, uh as a whole so 
I don't, I mean, I, I, you could still do it. it. It doesn't really matter, but you, yeah, I'm just going to collapse that in because I think it looks fine just like that because that's predominantly kind of how we looked. For BirdBot here, uh, basically, <laughs> this thing is, is a marble. Uh, so you have a ball joint here at the base of the neck. All of these other joints, you got one down here that kind of goes left and right. Then these ones all go forward and back, which, I mean, that's amazing how much uh, articulation you're able to get that neck into you got a big joint right here as well also has a hinge right there so lots of articulation there the mouth opens up can get a good open mouth pose with them let me see get that like that that's yeah that's as far as it goes so you do have the uh, little cannon thing in there as well so again you can plug that onto his tongue or, well, I don't know if you would call it his tongue, but you can have a fire-breathing bird if you really want it. These bits here, they have, you know, let's see, there's a lot of parts that are falling off on this. Uh, these are just mushroom pegs, so it's not bad, but uh, I wish that was a little bit tighter on him. Same down here. Uh, so you have a base section right here that allows you to go forward and back. It does hinge outward and then you have a hinge right here as well it also does rotate so lots of articulation that you can get in there uh, these little wing bits here can go in and out uh, you do have the extended wing this looks a little bit more g1 toy ish leaving it like that uh, so again personal preference really and honestly you know maybe if i go like that that makes it a little bit better so i, I kind of like that look form and then that kind of holds things in here because like I said these are a little bit loose specifically this one that one kind of droops down so if you want to leave it like that you could but you can also angle it up and then that makes it look a little bit better I think so go like that uh, the back tail section here uh, nothing at the well you do have a little hinge right there uh, you have double joints at this section this section and then one single joint at the little tip right here the tail can also go left and right come down here to the legs these are really great so you got the ratchet joint moving forward or back you can also move in and out which is fantastic again ratchet joints which is wonderful you got a swivel at the thigh you have two bends or is it just one no that's just one bend right there but then you have a lower rotation so you got a bunch of different rotation points right there you have a ratchet joint right down here at the ankle it can also move in and out and then the toes can also articulate so Again, lots of articulation. I love all the heavy-duty ratchet joints. Uh, you do kind of have to balance him because um, he is a big boy, and he's on fairly small legs, but he still stands really damn good if you get it done just right. So let's see. I mean, that's really cool. Uh, I'm really impressed with it. Now, to combine him, this is going to basically stay the same. You're going to have to take these, straighten this, make that all collapsed in rotate that and then that tucks up underneath there do that on this side as well claw the little feet straighten things out make sure that's all the way in rotate that and just like that so there you have the top section for him basically done you don't really have to do too much else we're going to set him onto the side for this guy again really simple rotate that tuck the head and then you rotate that down and around, bring that up, let's see, just like that. Now, all you do is you connect them, just like you did in the shuttle. So bring this piece in, you wanna make sure that you get that lower section there. Again, it's a little bit tricky, but give that a good solid push. And then you can push this down that locks in again very securely and there you have the commander modesty himself all looking majestic get that out there oh aren't you a pretty little bot oh yes i am thank you i am super pretty i am so pretty there he is and this guy is absolutely magnificent personified i'm absolutely in love with them now one part that i mean you got this uh, you can like add a whole bunch of different pieces on here uh, but i feel like that's a little bit flimsy and it doesn't really peg in there all that great because the hole's not that big but 
you could do all sorts of fun things and maybe not put that big of a, a blast in there i mean that holds in there a lot better but doesn't look as cool let's be honest uh, you can also take these you can put these uh, on different parts of them if you want as I showed you you can flare these bits out which I feel works a lot better when it's Skylinks like this it just gives a better presence to him this guy though gets Absolutely gigantic now just bring in an Optimus Prime Voyager class Optimus. I mean that's a huge huge size difference. Let's let's bring all of these guys in here so that you can see kind of everything going along the line that's specifically with the earthrise figures i mean that's incredible i mean should he be bigger i mean god it he varied in size depending on what scene he was in every single transformer in history did that but let's bring in the commander class jetfire or skyfire whichever you want to call him obviously you can see the size here he, he's a much taller uh figure obviously but uh, in terms of the overall mass there's a a good difference here i feel like this guy has a lot more to him now obviously this guy has a lot of extra parts that aren't on him so it balances some of that in my opinion but this looks great i absolutely love it and just for the hell of it because i don't get to bring this guy out much here is predaking um i don't know uh, about the sky or the scale here uh, and i gotta bring my camera all the way back to kind of show this to you um i feel like it, it it it's okay i mean again he varies from scene to scene uh but these guys were nemesis pretty much all the time and i loved their constant battles i think the size here though works or at least it's uh, acceptable i would say i'm gonna have both of them displayed next to each other that's for damn sure just because of how cool they look but uh I i'm absolutely in love with this guy skylinks is definitely a, a favorite character of mine and i think they did a terrific job this this is just it blows my mind uh, i guess you could open this if you really wanted to i don't know why you would want to but you could do that if you wanted like some extra detail uh, all the articulation is the same obviously not really much changes uh, like i said there's a lot of uh, different personal preferences you can go like that which takes up a lot less space but in terms of a majestic look that just looks good with the wings extended like that just uh god oh with these uh so you can you can you put these up if you want to um or you can leave them all the way back it, uh, again i think i think it's personal preference the old g1 toy had these kind of always there as well uh, i'm trying to remember if the cartoon had it I, I, I don't honestly remember if if those were exposed in the cartoon or not so again personal preference uh if you wanted to again you can open this up and that's a little bit tricky to do. Oh, well, that's going to... Ah, well, look. Extra articulation. Um, that's a little bit harder to get that down. I mean, you could do that if you wanted to have a um, ramp to go up to his butt. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, there are things that you can do. You got to lift the tail a little bit out of the way. But absolutely fantastic oh god i'm just gushing at this point in time so i'm gonna wrap things up or let's transform them back so we're going to fold these wings in just like that let's uh separate them makes it a little bit easier and then pull back just like so these wings they're gonna come back now with these what you have is a little tab on the outside of his bird feet. You want to bring these in and then just kind of fit this in with there's a little slot right there. Just put it in there and then give that a good little push, locking that in. Get that there. There we go. Nice and secure. Bring this piece back, hinge that out. And then again, this all just accordions. Make sure you get everything kind of folded down as flat as possible so it fits in there perfectly keep all of that straightened there we go and now that's straight which is that straight let me double check that and yeah there we go all right so just like so and then the head you're just going to close the mouth straighten that out 
and then just slinky that inside like that and then bring this over give that a good little push locks that into place fold out the landing gear on them just like that and there we have birdbot back in his shuttle mode and then this guy pretty much everything's already done because you have that tucked up and under rotate these around keep that there that'll tab in this is going to straighten out. Then on the uh, inside of his back thigh is that little uh, weird shaped port that you're gonna just plug that piece in just like that. And then these are going to rotate down. Did on this side as well. Rotate that up, lock that in, rotate that around. Come to the front, collapse both of those in, straighten that. Same basic thing here, you're going to rotate this and then the inside little post here is going to lock in right there. So straighten out his legs, bring his foot, collapse that in. There's that. And then we can bring this over. If you wanted to, you can connect it. Let's connect it because I didn't do it for too long. There we go. Again, make sure you take this. Give that a good shove. Lower this bit, lock that in, and there he is. Skylinks, the way that he should be. Absolutely gorgeous and magnificent. Let's just say that. So, I've literally sat here for the past 37 minutes or so talking about how great this guy is. I don't really know how to wrap it up other than to reiterate that. He is a fantastic figure. Hasbro is literally knocking the ball out of the park time and time again. And with what they're engineering in something like Skylinks really does make me look forward to what they're coming out with in the future. I know we're getting Scorponok. I'm really looking forward to that now. Obviously, Unicron is coming at some point. If any of those figures are a fraction of how good this is this very well could be the best line of transformer figures that i've ever collected they do everything that i want them to do they remind me of those old toys as well as old characters in terms of the look aesthetic all that stuff but with absolutely improved things such as the detail the paint the articulation i guess the easiest way for me to describe most of these new figures especially here with skylinks is that this is what i wanted as a kid and finally we have them so all that being said if skylinks here is a figure that you would like to add to your collection he will be hitting various retail locations fairly soon so if you're looking for him good luck and happy hunting or as always you can make it really easy on yourself and avoid all the fuss and just go to big bad toy store for that i'll put a link right down in the video description where you can go to bbts and check out availability on this guy as well as the rest of the wide range of transformer figures but beyond that guys that's about it before you go, I would really appreciate if you would do one very small thing for me, and that's simply just to hit that thumbs up button. That one very small gesture really does go a long way towards helping me out, and I would really appreciate it. Also, I want to send a huge shout out to my patron, Adam, who through his direct support has made this review entirely possible. And if you'd like information on how you can help support my channel by becoming a patron like Adam, feel free to check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash optobotomous. And as always, remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.